In this video, you're going to learn how to create your own expiring URLs using the Firefox's S3 Organizer. In addition to creating the time expiring URLs, you'll also learn how they work, how to use them, and some powerful tips that will add another layer of security and functionality to your expiring URLs. For everyone that hands out digital download links, this video is for you. Okay, here we are with the S3 Firefox Organizer tool opened up and first off why would you want to use a time expiring URL well just as the name says it's a it's a URL that will expire at a certain time and you decide when that time is going to be and we'll get to that here in just a second now why would you want to use something like this well one idea pops to mind would be like say for example for a product launch you've got some promotional material videos ebooks graphics whatever that you want to toss out to the public or your JV partners that will help you promote your product so come launch day the buzz has been created and all you're gonna do is just sit back and wait for the money to start flowing in now at the time that that product launches you won't need these promotional materials anymore at least as far as this example is concerned so rather than going to your server and deleting all of those items you can just set it and forget it with the time expiring URLs at a certain time and you just set that time so that maybe the day after your product is launched these URLs are no more they just simply do not exist or they do exist basically they just are not functioning anymore you know kind of like mission impossible they will self-destruct in self in five seconds or whatever well it's not going to leave any smoke trails or blow up your computer or anything it's just that they simply will not work well let me show you what i'm talking about now this is a video all the files related to making that video work and this is the html file that if we right click on this and then come on down here and left click on copy url to clipboard come on over here this is that particular video let me just make sure that it's still working uh, paste enter no access is denied why because we have no permission set for it and that's what we want that's like step one in creating your time expiring URL you want to make sure that nobody has permissions to this so if we uh, right click on this and go to ACL or you come up here and left click on this thing with the pencil on it that's edit your ACL you can see that nobody has permissions except for the owner that's the way we want it now then if we then come down here right click and go to get pre-signed URLs and why this does not say get time expiring URLs is beyond me I'm sure the fine folks at S3 Firefox organizer know exactly what they're doing and why they didn't do it that way but that's up to them anywho you left click on this and here you've got a timed expiring URL all this gibberish right here you put this in your browser and boom you have 24 hours before this link self destructs or more pleasantly speaking no longer works now then you wouldn't necessarily want to send this big old long ugly looking link to all, all of your JV partners it just wouldn't be professional looking there are ways in which you can shrink this puppy down to a manageable size and a more pleasantly looking size for that matter too. I'll get to that in a second. Now here, of course you can always choose if you want regular HTTP or you want to secure it a little bit more by throwing in the HTTPS. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Now then, you can adjust the time here all the way down to one hour up to however many hundreds or thousands of hours you want it to be a functioning URL totally up to you so if you want it to be three days long before this link will no longer work then you just multiply three times 24 just you know without using my fingers that's I think uh, 72 hours so at that point your link would no longer work so if you've got a promotional video or promotional ebook that will be no longer in no longer needed after say four days or, or seven days from now well you do the math toss a number in there and boom as soon as you click on generate URL that's when the clock starts ticking now then as soon as this link is open doesn't matter it's still gonna be good for the amount of time it's in this box starting at the time this button was clicked so there are certain items you do not want to use this for putting this on a download page for a paying customer is one of them sending this out to customers that have already purchased from you but their hard drive melted or the link did not work or whatever the case was that they need to get that link from you well you can do it this way so that and providing them with say 24 48 or 72 hours 
at which time this link will no longer be any good, be sure and tell those customers that at a certain time this link is no longer going to be any good, so download it now, please. That would prevent them from tossing this out to all the Juarez sites on the Internet. I mean, it may not prevent them, but they can do, do that, and it's just that all those yahoos over at all the Juarez sites will have a non-functioning link at the time that this guy expires. So that being said, those are just a couple of reasons why you would want to use this and one main reason why you would not want to use this. Again, don't put this on your download pages unless you love doing customer support issues all the time. So let's go ahead and talk about the functioning of this. Let's copy this, close this, go back here where it's not working, and then paste that in here. And with the timed URL, it is not working and will work for the next 24 hours. Now remember that's a pretty long and ugly link. You don't want to toss that out to all of your, and you can see here where it's HTTPS, it's a little more secure now, but you do, do not want to pass that long ugly link out to all of your JV partners that are helping you promote this or for whatever reason you're you're sending this out. You don't want to even send this to your customer that had a meltdown on the hard drive because it may not work in most email clients because as as long as it is, it may be broken at some point in the email. So shrink it down. And you've got a lot of sh URL shrinking services out there to choose from. Tiny URL, the great granddad of those, and, and a gazillion other ones that are popping up left and right. And since this is an expiring URL, it doesn't really matter. Uh, tracking issues it's not that big of a deal but me being the information junkie that I am one of the reasons why I like bud URL so much is because it offers a free plan number one and several other paid plans that offer you certain or different levels of tracking different levels of information that they can provide you per plan that you jump into and this one I have is just the free plan plan options yeah this tells you the cost from the 49 bucks a month to the four bucks to the zero and the big difference here is the uh, number of URLs that you can track or the number of clicks per URL and of course excuse me the number of URLs that you can create and each one of these plans have a 21 day free trial so check it out again I'm not here to try to sell you on bud URL just saying that it's a great deal and we go here to my bud URLs and this particular one you can go here to check additional information let's go ahead and add a new bud url now we've got that long link in here in our clipboard we just right left click right click and then paste and here you can put a uh, custom alias so for example if i want to put in here the test url for example well you think i'd already done this you can come on down here put in any additional notes you want you want this permanent or temporary this is an expiring URL folks so temporary is really all you need shrink it now this you um, alias the appendage here is globally unique so if anybody else had already taken this it would not be available and they would tell you so you can then just come on in and make this adjustment so if you're throwing out some promotional information maybe you can append this with a title of your product you're promoting just an idea again it looks better and that's the key now right you want it to make it look presentable now then you can uh, track this all the clicks on this URL uh, until the cows come home and then whenever you're done come over here and delete it that way you might be able to use that same appendage or that same uh, name alias in some future reference in some future bud URL so that's it folks that's how quickly you can create a timed expiring URL that's a couple reasons why you would want to and one main reason why you would not want to create a timed expiring URL and how you do it again just a re uh, quick recap make sure you do not have any permissions set except for the owner and adjust the time accordingly and the time for this expiring URL begins as soon as you hit generate URLs the clock starts ticking folks and that's it thank you very much for watching this video have a great day.